So if you could just introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Constantine, shopping around today, looking for fleece, going on a little ski trip later, you know? Fun, and That's it. are you from Toronto? Yeah, I am. East York area, so like 50 minutes out of the city. Okay, cool. Yeah. So could you just describe everything you're wearing today? Yeah, you know, just wanted to stay cozy and comfy. It's like way too chilly out there. Yeah. I have a base layer under here, a basic t-shirt, a little quarter zip sweater, coat from Zara, old Levi's, loose fit, comfortable, wool socks and Clarks. And just wanted to stay cozy, comfy. Okay. No, I really yeah. like it. And where do you find you get your fashion inspiration from? Oh, all over. A lot of my uncles are really into clothes and whatnot. So just kind of seeing them, hanging out with them, cousins, family, friends, just like looking at aesthetics on Instagram. Yeah. And final question, what is your dream? What is my dream? Like fashion dream or in general? In general, just your dream in general. In general, retire in the Mediterranean 1 million percent. Uh -huh. That's like upper echelon, <laughs> I gotta get amazing. there. Yeah. Okay, well thank you so much no for being in the interview. No my name's Anna. Um, I'm a writer, I live in Toronto. I'm 25 years old. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you now describe your outfit, head to toe? All the pieces you have? Uh, yeah, so this is a shirling coat from my grandmother. Um, and this is just like a vintage leather slouchy bag that I found at Value Village. I love the double zip. Thank you. And um, this is a Missoni scarf that my old roommate left behind and I just stole. <laughs> Um, and this I just found the other day. It's vintage Versace. Oh. And I really like the way that it looks like someone spray painted on it. Yeah. And these jeans are Nomia, which is like a kind of new independent brand from New York City. And the shoes are just like old beat up Nikes. Lovely. lovely. Um, and these rings are all vintage. Some are from like family members and some are from um, just like I found them at like antique stores and things like that. Yeah, they look so nice. Thank you. Is there someone that inspires the way you dress? Or an artist or art or anything? Is there something? Um, I mean, I'm really inspired by like the way that people in Toronto dress. I just find that people here have like a sense of like effortless style. Like I remember, I, I, I just moved here three years ago. And I remember before moving to Toronto, I feel like I, I tried really hard to like look I don't know, like I had put in an effort, yeah. but I feel like the way that I like to look now is just like really easy going. Um, and so everything that I really gravitate towards just feels really effortless and easy these days. Yeah, like I said, that looks lovely. Yeah, thank uh, you. Now, last question is, what is your dream? My dream? Yeah. Um, my dream, well, I'm a writer, so my dream would be to write a novel that a lot of people really love. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Um, thank you for being an interview today and hope My you have pleasure. a nice rest of your tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Right, that's it. Hey, so if you could just introduce yourself. Um, my name is Mar. Um, I'm 22 and I live in Toronto. Cool. So just tell me what you're wearing today. Um, well, shoes are the um, Reebok ZX Fury Instapumps. I got them because I saw it like on Instagram. I saw, I saw this like Bjork fashion archive account and she had a pair in the 90s and they just looked really cool so I was like That's cool, I need a pair. like the pump? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. kind of like, I don't know, it's like, I don't know if it's actually functional, like if it really does anything with the pump, but I just thought it was like cute, so mm -hmm. yeah. They're like a combination of like um, a Reebok and an Adidas shoe, so like the front half is like the Reebok and then the back little part is like um, the Adidas. Um, and then these shoes are from, or sorry, these jeans are from Walmart, they're Wranglers. I got them to do like a job in the summer, like doing like labor work, but I was just like, they're cute, I'm gonna wear them. Yeah, nice. Um, this jacket is my dad's jacket. Um, bag, Telfar, and Urban Outfitters. And hat? Hat, um, I don't even know, my mom got it for Christmas, but it's like rabbit hair. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. That's fine. And where do you find you take fashion inspiration from? Oh, I mean, I grew up with like a working class family and like in kind of like the country. So I definitely kind of like the, the kind of like blue collar population, not to like, I mean, I feel like it's appropriate growing up blue collar, but I just find like thrifting a lot of things. I just like kind of gravitate towards things that have a bit of like a used quality. Um, you know, if I can like describe it in like akin to anything, it would probably be like someone who maybe like lives in like a shed in the forest, but like also kind of wants to be like 
I don't know, a streetwear uh-huh. icon. Uh-huh. Like, I'm, I'm Mormon brought into the city. I don't okay, know. Maybe no, that's, that's, that's cool. It's very different. <laughs> and a uh, final question yeah. What is your dream? Oh, my dream. Oh, that's great. Um, I want to be a producer and I also want to be a painter. So we'll see what. Sh- uh, my name is Flo. Um, I'm from Branton and I'm just visiting Toronto for the day. Hey, very cool. So could you just uh, tell me about your outfit? Um, this is very old money, but also uh, slightly preppy. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I decided to go with uh, two colors today. Uh-huh, and if you just want to like explain all the pieces you put together. Oh, sure. Um, so these are just, I find pointed shoes are like very chic. They look more expensive and they, they really make an outfit look uh, more put together. Um, the skirt and tights I find just make legs look longer, so I put them together uh, like that, and I actually wear fleece tights to keep my legs warm. And uh, knits and furs I find just look good anyway, but uh, they they do make an outfit look more expensive, especially when um, they're usually the same color and they don't draw too much from the outfit. The beret is just because it matches and it keeps my, my head warm while also looking um, put together. And the gloves I wear all the time. So, yeah. Love it. And tell me where you get your fashion inspiration from. Um, I mean, to be honest, I just look on Pinterest. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just kind of explore what I like and what looks good on me. And that's pretty much how I go. Uh-huh. And lastly, uh, what is your dream? Uh, my dream is to, uh, <laughs> that's very on the spot, uh, I actually don't really know right now, just kind of living life and, I don't know. Oh, that's <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being in the interview. Hi, I'm Julian. Julian? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Julian. Good. Yeah. Um, you grab your outfit and where you got your pieces from? Oh, I see. It's vintage. Mm. More, the, the pants is vintage and the, the cord is from, uh, Zara, you know, so I usually just mix it up. Lovely. I like the vintage and then I put the modern, and so I create a unique kind of style. Nice. What about the scarf? Uh, the scarf is vintage. Vintage too? Even yeah. the hat? No, the hat is not vintage. It's uh, cashmere. cashmere. My friend sent it for me from New York. So, so it's, a, it's a, an eclectic mix. Are you from I am Canadian, but I was born in Antigua. In the Caribbean, yeah. So. What about your bag? I oh, love shit. the bag. I don't. Uh, the toad. Toad bag. Yeah. I know. It's a vintage store. Vintage store. <laughs> yeah. And the, even the hoodie. Uh, the hoodie. No, the hoodie. I always say winners. winners. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, yeah it's funky. <laughs> and, um, uh, I like like it that way. I love how you put everything together. Yeah. So, um, and the shoe is, as you see, it's uh, a Reebok. Mm, Reebok. Reebok. Yeah. A specific person or someone that inspires you to dress the way you dress. Uh, not particularly. I'm artistic and I, you know, I just see myself as a canvas and so I look for color and I look for, um, you know, uniqueness, mm-hmm. you know, and so I, and then I put them together. Usually, you know, I saw my wardrobe is filled with all kinds of stuff and before I go out in, in the day, I just look and I see the colors and what they look, you know, it's uh, more spontaneous mm-hmm. than a planned thing. I just grab However you feel, whatever you see, you just instinctive, put it all together. Instinctive. Mm-hmm, lovely. And you're normally people will say, oh, I like your outfit, I like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, exactly. so you know you're doing something right. So exactly. if I can inspire in that way, so be it, you mm-hmm. know. Lovely. And yeah. last question would be, what is your dream? In terms of? Everything, uh, life. Well, I just hope that the environment survives and that um, the governments will do more in terms of helping and saving the planet. Yeah, you know, making laws and, uh, you know, focus more on, you know, saving the environment and not so much commercial and profits and, you know, all that. There's so much waste in the ocean and, you know, overfishing, you know, fracking and all that stuff. So I think the people who have the power, like the leaders and stuff, should focus more on, you know, changing these. And I think it will make a better impact, you know. Perhaps for someone like you who's a little bit younger and the younger generation, <laughs> because I don't know what's going to happen in terms if we don't make the change. Exactly. You know? yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me in the interview today. Good, yeah. So, if you could just introduce yourself. I'm Kelly, and are you from Toronto? 
Um, I'm from Ottawa. Hey. So just tell me what you're wearing today. Um, I'm wearing Doc Martens, platform Doc Martens, and green pants from Urban Outfitters. And this shirt my brother got for me. I have no idea where he got it, to be honest, but it's a band that he has the same shirt, and I always wanted to steal his because it looked like he'd been wearing it for a while, and it was all like old looking, but he wouldn't give it to me, so he got me my own. Um, this is also from Urban Outfitters. Cool, and then the jewelry? Um, Valley Village. I got this in Nicaragua, actually, at like a market. Um, this I made from like stuff at Michael's. And then my earrings. Uh, can't remember, I think. Ooh. Oh, Every Jewels? Oh, yes, I yeah. yeah. And where do you find you get fashion inspiration from? Uh, Pinterest. I love Pinterest. Uh -huh. So mostly Pinterest, um, Instagram a little bit, but like Pinterest definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah. And final question, what is your dream? My dream? Uh -huh. That's very vague. It's very vague for anything, whatever, um, take with what you will. Honestly, I would love, I really like uh, like music videos. Like I'm super big into music and I also like editing videos and stuff. So like my dream, I think it'd be really dope to like edit music videos for like cool artists yeah. just like really funky editing uh -huh. that's, that's so cool <laughs> yeah thank you so much for being part of the interview <laughs> uh, i'm yoon yeah yeah um can you describe your outfit yeah uh the jackets from i think oak and fort and the sweaters from summer in brooklyn uh pants aritzia and the clerks yeah. Um, is this something that inspires you to dress the way you dress? Something? I like I like Danny. Uh, she's a she's like a model slash she works at um she's in Brooklyn. She's based there, and I actually got to meet her after following her on Instagram for like years. And yeah, I really like her fit. So nice. <laughs> and last question would be, um, what's your dream? My dream? Yeah. Um, I mean, I study architecture, but maybe with that, I can like go into actually designing um, shoes. I like shoes, so maybe go into that field. Lovely. Yeah. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Okay. So if you could just introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Mark. Uh, are you from Toronto? Um, no, not really. Where are you from? Um, I'm originally from Ajax, but right now I'm staying in Toronto for a bit. But... Hey, well, just describe your outfit today. Um, well, I was going for kind of like a winter she, but less is more type of thing. Not trying to be too like wintry. Yeah, and just tell me like, could you just tell me the separate pieces that you're wearing today? Oh, um, these are from Dogs, H and M, Uniqlo, <laughs> and H and M. Love it. And where do you find your you get your fashion inspiration from? Mostly from. I don't know, like Pinterest mm -hmm. or just on the streets, yeah. um, the runways. And last question, what is your dream? Um, I dream to chill and have a better world. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Uh, my name's Steve. Steve, can you describe your outfit today? Honestly, it's just like the first thing that I found when I woke up today. Well, it's nice. <laughs> thank you. So like the, the, the pieces, like I see you have the Doc Martens. Mm -hmm. Do you like just like say where you got the if you know where you got them? Yeah, I think I got this from like Top Man. This I stole from him. Lovely. Pants, I literally can't remember. Mm -hmm. And then I got the ducks from the duck store. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, is there someone that inspires the way you dress or you just dress like that? Because you inspire yourself. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like a lot of like this isn't really representing that, but I think I'm inspired by a lot of like the younger like club culture. So Sometimes my outfits might not be as subdued as this. I feel like this is a bit more just like chill, chill, everyday kind of thing. But I do like the, I don't know, sort of out there. I think maybe the docks kind of yeah, <laughs> represent that a little bit. Yeah, They're the just high. like that little pop of something extra. But uh, yeah, I feel like that is what oh. inspires me. And the last question will be, what's your dream? What's my? Your dream. My dream. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a lot of dreams. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I'm into music, so like maybe just having some more time to spend making music and producing and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, maybe for a little bit more uh, time outside because COVID's been getting us all down. So yeah. that's a one dream for sure. That's like an immediate dream. Maybe that, that's it. Yeah. Make this whole thing. Make this whole thing just disappear. disappear. Yeah. yeah.
Okay, well, lovely. Thank you for being in the interview today. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. And that's it. Hi, my name is Kayla. <laughs> Cosmic. I go by Cosmic. What are you wearing today? Yeah. Um, today I'm wearing these like dress pants. They're like a khaki color. Um, they're honestly they're Jeremy Scott, but I found them in the vintage store. And then this is just a blazer, like oversized blazer. And then I'm wearing like a cashmere um, turtleneck to stay warm. And then I have just like a belt, like a, one of those like utility kind of looking belts. What and about the belt? Oh, this is like a Chanel bag. It's like an old vintage one that my grandma gave me. And then these are docks. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Um, is there a certain like style or someone that inspired you? No, no. Is there a certain style you're trying to go for more when like you go outside and is there, you gravitate more to? Um, I'm honestly very like experimental right now. Um, I don't really like to do the same thing a lot, but there's like certain silhouettes that I like that I'd like try to go for so I do like like the oversized look on top but I've been just like looking at different things. Is yeah. there someone in particular that inspires the way you dress? Um or just your creativity? I think it's more just like creativity but it's also like the people I meet like he's definitely inspired a lot of the stuff that I've seen and like just like watching different fashion shows and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. And the last question is what is your dream? <laughs> um <laughs> My dream is to just be like the most uh, amazing version <laughs> of myself and like and that will like produce ama like my creativity to be on the most to my how do I say it like the best version of myself so that my creativity can like flourish yeah I'm on a very big spiritual journey so it's just like being able to be happy in everyday life and just with like the most minimal things and then fashion just is one of those things that like adds into it. Hi guys, I'm Idiot Camino. So do you want to explain what you're wearing today? Uh, yeah, um, this, I usually just thrift a lot of my stuff and kind of like to mix like the thrift with designer stuff. So this is a jacket I just thrifted. This was a sweater that I got that I just cut into a vest. Same thing with um, the long sleeve underneath just thrifted it and uh these are some i think these are dior shoes yeah dior shoes and just a prada hat and my boy tristan made this bag he has a brand called atypic i like to wear a lot of my friends stuff too Su support like local yeah. brands and stuff like that but yeah i like to mix and match it okay. um so is it like someone that inspires the way you dress or just creativity um i think for a while it was it was more like movements and like culture so it's not like anybody in particular but um, yeah, I think definitely cultures, like sometimes I'm feeling like a little bit of like an 80s like flair vibe or, you know, sometimes I want to dress like a punk or like sometimes I want to dress like more modern. So I usually use like the times and the centuries as like a reference reference board or like mood board and then just go from there. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. And um, is there someone, is there someone or like music or something that inspires you like to dress? In music? Like if you, is there like someone, a person or an artist that inspires you to dress away? Like you're in the um, artistic style. I think maybe probably I would say Andre 3000, just because of like uh, the freedom of expression there. Yeah. Not necessarily exactly his style, but just like the risk he's willing to take, and just like you can just tell he's really expressing himself the way that he wants to. So I feel like I take that aspect of um, his style, just his charisma, like the bravery, and um, I, I apply that to my shit too. And is for the last question, like, what's your dream? Um, my dream is just to make my family happy and just to be happy in life. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you for being on the uh, interview show, the show today. Sweet. Yeah. Hey, my name's Zahir. Zahir? Yeah. Um, what are you doing here today? You know, just checking a shop around, just looking around for me and my girlfriend. Okay, okay, proper. Um, can you explain, describe your outfit today? Uh, yeah, I got my jeans. I made these myself. These are just kind of like some personal shits. Some beat up koi footwear, vegan leather derbies. Thrifted this jacket like literally yesterday. Uh, vintage Prada turtleneck. Fuck it. Yeah. It's from HM. And thrifted and thrifted. What about the ears? Oh, these are custom I got from a homegirl of mine. She did them for me. 
And then okay. these are just like, I love it. these are just like basic studs that I just got, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Is there a certain style you choose to like gravitate towards more? When you go outside, do you think about going outside and getting something? I mean, I think there's a definitely like an element of uniform for me. Like I wear a lot of all black, which is kind of like, you know, one tone, one palette type of idea, but you know, still being able to be appropriate for the weather. So you know, if it's hot out, I gotta be appropriate for that. If it's cold out, I gotta be appropriate for that as well, right? But, um, kind of just like, I'm getting more into like, I guess, preppy wear now, but I'm always more into like technical garments as well as like, you know, construction and the fit and so on and so forth. Yeah, that with, uh, the Kansas, Thank you. Yeah. And uh, what's your dream? My dream? Man. It's, yeah. it's, a deep, it's a deep question. Yeah. Um, I think I want to be able to be what my inspirations are for like other young black men and other young mixed kids growing up. You know, because like you know, growing up where I'm come from, you don't see a lot of kids like me. You know, like I got half blue hair and black hair, and I look the way that I look. But growing up in Parkville, like you don't see a lot of that, right? So you I want inspiration from people. Yeah, you know. So I had to look like other other places for that. So I guess my dream is like. That hey guys, I'm Joe Beth Talaga Dem. Okay. Um, can you describe your outfit today? Oh well, my outfit, Michigan State. Michigan State. Like Nike, essentials. Like I like to put vest on my popper always. Like I feel like cozy. Like, yeah, cozy. The world like gonna be comfortable. You know, mm, like, gonna be complete. Sense. Always. What yeah. about the tote bag? The tote bag. I got this on Vans. You know that yeah. one outfit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I got this on oh, the outfit. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's like sick. Yeah, and it matches with the shoes. I like how you coordinated that right there. Oh, thank Love you, bro. <laughs> and the hat, Stussy? And the hat, Stussy, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Um, now, when you step outside and you go outside, like, is there some style you like particularly go to more? That like, you like dressing up more as this particular way? Oh, yeah, bro. Like, uh, what, what style would that be? Uh... What I get it? What I get it? Like, what style is like when you wake up in the morning, you're like, I want to wear this. Like, oh, what yeah, makes you bro. like choose like, outfits? Uh, it depends. Like, I feel like normal sometimes. I'm wearing slacks, uh, like a different one, bro. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, but right now, like, I just got out from work. That's why I'm wearing like some vintage. Yeah, okay, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, last question is, what is your dream? Oh, my dream? <laughs> my dream, like, I've been, like, thinking that for a lot of years right now, bro. Like, undecided until now. Yeah, bro. Okay, we're like, still young. We still have a lot of time. Yeah, still young, bro. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay, well, thank you so much for being in the audience today. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm Fernando. I'm from Waterloo. Waterloo? Yeah. Okay. What is, well, can you describe your outfit today? Uh, well, honestly, I was supposed to wear um, some chinos, but I forgot a belt, so... I kind of had to improvise, yeah. Feel just that. like a bunch of random, uh, random stuff, honestly, thrown together. Where is it all from? Like the jacket? Uh, jacket, the, honestly, like, uh, it's a bunch of things, like grilled for a few pieces. The jacket's from this place in Waterloo, it's like a consignment store for like vintage, uh, just random stuff. Uh, the shirt's from grailed, uh, this is thrifted. The jewelry's from Mexico and uh, like, uh, Ooh, like uh, South America. I love that ring right there. Oh, cheers. Actually, yeah. she got it from me. She went to Nicaragua. So, yeah, so uh, all the jewelry is like pretty much from uh, thing. And then I just carried this camcorder around just because I also like the bag as well. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it a reason. You took, you do, uh, utilize what you're having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shoot some videos, but uh, it's just like, it's literally all on eight mil. Like, uh, I gotta like get it like such a process to get it done. But yeah, uh, just for the look too. But yeah, okay. that's pretty much it. Okay. Honestly. Um, is there someone that inspires the way you dress or like the, like your style yeah so um i'd say it's like it's like kind of like um it's a mix of anything like vintage but like like a bunch of different takes on vintage so it'll be like um what usually what i usually wear is like white like very y2k so like you know the jeans and kind of like the belt like random just like super uh 2000s like 12 year old kind of look yeah. but then also like uh you know some different vintage takes like true like like vintage like consignment shops like just like Hype, more hype oh, tees, so, like yeah. you know, band tees, um, and then I also wear like super thrifting, like wool sweaters and like chinos with dots and stuff like that, like kind of like a grandma or a grandpa look. Yeah. But it's just a bunch of different vintage, and then that's all from like people I see. Like if I like something, if I, if I like what someone's wearing, I like kind of make note of it, and then I'll either thrift it or go on grilled and look for something similar and just steal that. But yeah. 
And then um, last question will be, what's your dream? For sure. My dream? Yeah, what's your dream? Uh, my dream, my dream. I love, uh, honestly, I really like, like, uh, kind of, like, dressing up, like, kind of making outfits. So, honestly, like, like, a very shallow dream of mine would be just to be, like, you know, you see a lot of pieces that are, like, really cool, like, on Grail. Um, but, you know, they'll be, like, $400, $500 shirts, and it's, like, right now it's kind of unreasonable because I'm in school and everything. But, you know, eventually I'd love to just be able to wear whatever, uh, whatever I see that I like, so, yeah, you know. Be successful. I guess that's the dream. You know, yeah. no, that's no, how it is, brother. No, I really, I really appreciate it.